police report from Langata Police Station stated that the senior assistant inspector general police King Ori Mwangi knocked down two civilians under controversial circumstances. According to police, King Ori Mwangi was trying to avoid a traffic snarl-up between Sunshine School and Carnival Junction by driving on the wrong side of the road when he hit two pedestrians who were crossing the road. But the border riders then gave a chase, smashing the senior officer's vehicle. The two pedestrians suffered multiple injuries and were rushed to Kenyatta National Hospital in critical condition. The assistant inspector general police told his juniors that he was leaving for the current hospital to pick up a person in distress when the accident happened. Efforts by KTN News to speak to and establish the status of the two victims was unsuccessful by the time of broadcasting this report. The other thing that remains unclear to this minute is why police did not arrest King Ori for attempted murder, why police did not impound his vehicle or record a statement from their boss or the victims in hospital who were taken there by a good Samaritan. In November of 2014, the former Coast Provincial Police boss was among nine candidates being interviewed to become Kenya's first Deputy Inspector General of Police. Kingori Mwangi had a difficult time fending off allegations of murder and high-handedness in the service. The Johnstone Kavuludi-led commission told Mwangi that it had received a number of petitions from civil society organizations and individual police officers questioning his integrity.